Hello and welcome back to Drova. I'm in the pit. Time to make some money. Can I break these? No. Alright, let's go. I'm following you, trusty. Smirks wide. I'm trusty. I'd like to keep on hewing. But my back, well, you'll experience that yourself one day. These days, I'm taking care of the hewers and all of their shenanigans. Ever since Silver News knows, uh, Silver knows, ever since Silver knows, one of the best hewers has left, Levin isn't getting much silver. Yeah, that confused me. The S in Silver is not capitalized. I think his name is Silver Nose. That's what they call him. Okay. Fortunately, now you are here. You can still hew. You're down below now. Things couldn't be better. Down below. Where the hewers do our hewing. Where the sun doesn't shine. Down below. Have you been here long? Of course. I know the tunnels better than my own underwear. Smirks. That's disturbing. It's probably been about 20 summers now, but my back can't take it anymore. Now I'm the pit's boss trust, uh, pit's boss's trusty. Can't complain? Well, except about my back. Uh, but you've always been here, right? Mm -hmm. No, I've seen all of Drova. Back then, there was nothing but Nimitin. It was a different time. Less trouble, fewer creditors. Life was better. Or maybe it just seemed that way to me. But there's nothing better than being down in the pit. It's tough, but at least it's always honest. And as trusty, at least I am somebody. You're the trusty here? I thought that was your name. <laughs> Actually, my name is Joris, but everyone has been calling me trusty since forever. And you don't want to get out of here? No, I've seen about 60 summers come and go. And ever since I got a little older, I bear it down. I bear it better down below. Once I drop dead, nobody will need to bury me. What a great outlook on life. I won't be dying of sunstroke, that's for sure. Smiles. Smirk. How nice of you, thanks. Well, someone's got to be nice around here. Good fortunes in the mines. Why do you keep saying good fortunes in the mines? It's an old saying. We get we say it as a greeting and to bid farewell. Got it. Are the people here unfriendly? If that hasn't occurred to you yet, then you probably haven't spoken with Levin or Lothar. Above all, avoid the guards. They consider themselves especially tough. Anything else you could show me? How much time do you have? <laughs> Alright, come on. I'll show you how to hew silver. Um, well, I know how to do that. There's a depleted vein right there. Alright, let's hew. Money. Wait up, Rusty. I got a loot. I'm getting money, food. All kinds of stuff. There's silver. See that shiny stuff on the wall? That's silver. That's what Levin craves. Why does Levin want silver anyway? No idea. It's just valuable. We're paid to mine it. That's all I'm interested in. The main thing is I can continue working here. But it's got something to do with the remnants and the red tower, I've heard. And how do I get it out? What a dumb question. You know that he what hewer means, right? You've got the bronze pickaxe. So... Use the pointy end on the ore. Raise the pickaxe up high above your head... Then bring the pickaxe down on the silver with a lot of force very quickly. It's not hard. Pace yourself and conserve your strength. Hewing is exhausting. You can't hew if your arms are hanging down. The bunkhouse is right over there. Go get some rest. But watch out for Mercil. 
whispers he's running his own scam. If you want to know anything else, come talk to me down in the pit. I'm making sure nobody messes around. Good fortunes in the mines. Bye-bye. Alright, I can do this. I've done this before, and I can do it again. There we go. Three silver. Let's cook. Cook a bunch of ointment. Meat. More meat. All right, let's look around. Die pottery. Mersel. Hey, you. Rough day? You look exhausted. Uh, this guy's gonna scam me. We built a bunkhouse here for you, hewers. For you, hewers. It's warm and cozy in there. Lie down and get some rest. Afterward, the work will go much easier. What's the catch? No catch. Those who labor deserve to rest. Just take a load off. Uh, not now. Alright, you can come back anytime you're tired and need to sleep. Are you gonna steal from me when I sleep? Hi, <laughs> wake up. Uh. What's this? Hmm. Is anyone watching me? What's in here? Too complicated. I shall sleep for one hour. Uh, let's sleep till... Eight. Maybe everyone will be awake and I can chat with them. Everyone's awake. Hi. So, sleep well? That'll be ten silver. I knew it. You want silver for sleeping? Levin said we're going to be provided with a place to sleep. You did get a, sl a place to sleep. Is Levin here? No. So pay good old Mercil and we'll stay friends. The hell I will. Then I'll take what's rightfully mine. The hell you will. Oh, he's fast. Oh god. Oh, I'll I'll never be able to take him. Well, now I know. Don't sleep in there. Was I even doing damage to him? I don't know. Uh, hold up. Let's put our yeah, reequip our daggers here. I got a caver shroom, cavern shroom. That is. Hi. How evil are you? Oh god. You're spitting puff balls at me. Oh, I don't like you. Yeah, the puff balls. Are you a mole rat or something? I don't know what you are. I don't like you though. I'm gonna eat some food. Uh, juicy fried meat. Eat it. Yeah, there we go. Heal up.
A secret cave? Hello? Am I intruding? Finley. So you've tracked down Finley's hideout. Who spilled the beans? I found it all by myself. Grumbles. I should have hidden it better. If Mercil gets wind of this, he'll beat me black and blue. Oh, maybe he'll let me sleep here. Um... Well, what do you want to do now? Listen, I'll give you all the silver I've collected today. If you keep your mouth shut, it doesn't get any better than that. Um... Well, how much silver is that? Forget the silver. Let me sleep in this hideout. That's what I feared. Fine, then. Let's share this place to sleep. But don't tell anyone else. The more who come, the sooner Mercer will find it. And that'll be the end. What should I say if, <laughs> if people ask where I sleep? Just say that Katz is letting you sleep outside without demanding any silver. Most people around here are happy if they don't have to talk to Katz at all. They wouldn't notice. Alright, if we have an understanding, I won't hold it against you. In fact, I can tell you a few secrets about mining. But don't forget our deal. If someone else shows up at my hideout, I'll know that you're the one who betrayed me. Got it. Can I have your food? Uh, nah. Maybe when he's not looking. Alright, secrets? What is it? Teach me about mining. I'll keep my promises. If you want to prospect a lot of silver, you'll need to find the right vein. Not every deposit yields a lot of silver. Take a close look first. Learn prospecting too. Heck yeah. Increase the yield from ore prospecting. Okay. Luckily, he's got two beds here. Okay, uh, nothing else back here, right? No. Now, there was a mole rat down here and a lot of blood, so I don't think... This probably was an area that was inaccessible to miners. Ah, the... I think they're launching dirt at me. I don't like it. Somehow that hurts me. Launch your dirt. Go ahead. Shade Shroom? It's so dark back here. Is that... Silver? We'll see how much I get. I got four silver. Not bad. No, no, no. Oh, there's two of them on me. Ah, damn it. Okay. Two of them, that makes it exponentially harder. Good God.
I'm going to cook you up and eat you. You're going to be my dinner. I'm going to mine out all the silver in here. All the other miners are going to be so pissed off. Uh, I'll deal with you in a moment. Ow. Why? Okay, a giant pit. That looks fun. I don't see any other silver around here. Yeah. How do the miners work with all these things running around? Okay, are we back up at the camp? Yeah. Ah, sorry. Hi. Huh? What's your name? That ignores me. Uh, Merrick. Hey. You can use that, Hugh. You can use that to hew stone as though it were wood. Trust me. Ewing has never been better. Are, is that like paint across your face? Is that like a tattoo, tattoos or a, a face paint? Or is that like soot all over your face? I think he has an eye patch as well. Hmm, really? Do I hear disbelief? You can trust my goods. All right, then. I'll take some of those things. Gladly. And come and see me if you need more equipment. Uh, I don't think I've had the pleasure of doing, biz doing business so far. Smirks widely. Welcome to my stall. I'm Merrick. He'll, here you'll get whatever your hewer's heart desires. You won't find a better offer anywhere. Not in the pit or anywhere else in all of Drova. Here in the pit, we don't accept coins. We barter goods. Well, you look sturdy. But isn't hewing exhausting? Isn't it draining to your strength? There's another way. Just use one of my new and improved pickaxes. Holds out a pickaxe. I present the Silver Smasher. Featuring an extra hardened tip that has been magically coated under a full moon. It smashes silver like a knife through butter. Its nightwood handle fits snugly in your palm. With the Silver Smasher, you only need half the stamina for every blow. The same amount of work, but twice as much silver. Forget about yesterday's pickaxe. Get the Silver Smasher today. And only for, only for the one time only discount. Excuse me. Price of 20 silver. And at that price, I'm cutting me own throat. So how about it? Nope. Pr too pricey. Come off it. Just do the math. You're going to need only half as much force for each blow. So you'll be able to hew twice as much silver. I ought to charge double. That doesn't... It doesn't work like that. The stamina doesn't matter. There's only so much silver in a vein, I think. Um, what makes it superior to a conventional pickaxe? Everything. Everything is better. The previous model had bad reaction to the silver. But we've gotten a grip on that. The Silver Smasher is just another pickaxe. In a different color, isn't it? What? That's the result of eons of research. What are you insinuating? A single drop of sweat runs down his forehead. You just took a regular pickaxe and spray painted it, didn't you? Nope. 
Listen, I like you, so I'll make an exception. I'll make you a deal on the Silver Smasher. 15 silver. What's the catch? No catches, only hatches. Haha. <laughs> Maybe I'll have, have to get settled in here. And that'll be far easier with the Silver Smasher. But you'll realize that soon enough. Nope. Grinds his teeth. Fine. You obviously think you know better. Just come crawling back here after you've worked yourself half to death. And change your mind. I don't mind working... Uh, working hard. I can always rest. Hi. Huh. Agnesa mumbles to herself, holding her right arm, mouth agape. You've got your, gotten yourself into hot water again, Agnesa. Oh, hey, I haven't seen you here before. Who are you? Agnesa. I was too stupid to walk in, sh uh, in a straight line and fell flat on my face. And now I'm sitting here like an idiot and can't heal like the others. And nothing works down here without silver. Are you badly injured? I'm fine. It's just that Mercil shouldn't see me like this. How exactly did that happen? My arm hurts like hell. I hope it's not broken or anything. I know, all I know is that whenever I try healing, I almost pass out from the pain. Oh, that's not good. But I need work. Holds her right arm. Holy crap, the pain's getting worse every day. Uh, need help? Don't get me wrong. But I can hardly give you anything for your help anyway. And then you'll end up wanting silver for me too. No, I've got plenty of berries and whatever. Maybe that'll heal, heal your uh, broken arm. Um, maybe you'll, you'll... Well, I'll ask her again. Do you need medicine? Smirks in pain. Wipes away a string of saliva. It's just a scratch. Let me take another short break. Then I'll be fine. Uh, okay. Maybe you'll be able to heal again soon. When I got hurt, I just borrowed silver from Mercil to pay for new equipment. If I can't pay my debt soon, he's going to be pissed. Groans lightly, you too. Maybe I can talk to Mercil. Uh, pay your debt? You get some rest. I'll take good care of you, Hewers. Um, Agnesa needs to relax. Relax. Let her rest a few days. What? That crone still owes me a bunch of silver that I lent her for new equipment. How is it my problem that she's been slacking off for two days? Because she's injured. How much silver does she, uh, does she uh, owe you? I lent her 25 silver. Then she came groveling and was like, mimicking a squeaky voice. Please, Mercil, please. I can't work like this. I'll pay you back real soon. And then she's too stupid to hew. Do I have 25 silver? I'm, is he talking about... He's talking about silver ore. I don't think I have 25. Here's 25 silver. That should take care of Agnes's debt. And bring enough silver. Yeah, I don't have enough. Okay, I'll pay her debt. Because I'm nice. Hi. Mm hmm. Hmm, well, let's do the math. For every day in the deep mine, I get that much. Levin wants to see sil the silver. I'll have to work harder to get his attention. If I dig out everything in the deep mine and keep digging up here, then I'll have... Huh? What is it? Woo. I thought you were Murtaugh. I feel like he's always hovering over me. I saw you buying something from Merrick. Yeah, I bought one of his silver smashers. It's a special kind of pickaxe. I can dig out the silver much quicker and more easily with it. Once I'm back in the deep mine, I'll give this thing a try. But I've got a weird feeling about this guy. That smarmy grin of his gives me the creeps. And and uh, Merrick's Silver Smasher is really helping. We'll see about that. But if not, I know who sold it to me. I work in the deep mine. There's no end of silver there. If the Silver Smasher works as advertised, I'll be the richest hewer in, Dro in Drova pretty soon. All right. Good luck. Maybe if it does work as advertised, I guess I could use it. Can I break these? No. Yes. I got a spider thread. And a torch. Mm -hmm. Hi. Shona, do you smell that? Of course. Makes your mouth water, doesn't it? 
You look like you want to eat something you've never tasted before. Uh, excuse me? Are you coming on to me? What are you up to? The remnants bring me the same ingredients all the time. Another day, and nothing's changed. Time for a change. Help me create a unique new dish, and then you may taste it. Oh, okay. Um, what do you want me to do for you? Soup is good food. The people here usually get served bread and vegetable soup. Yum, yum. Which is why I need an ingredient with more kick. Food that's invigorating boosts morale. There are a few dig pits in the pit. Dig pigs. Oh, that's what the, uh, the mole rats were. Dig pigs. They'll ignore you if you ignore them. But when they get aggressive, well, some hewers have already ended up in their stomachs. But it works both ways. Bring me, bring me ten pieces of their stringy meat. Alright, I'll bring you the meat. Great. Bring me ten pieces of stringy meat. That should be enough to try out the new dish. And if the dig pig is too strong, run away. They lose interest pretty quickly. Otherwise, just run toward the guards. Good fortunes in the mines. Uh, do I have the ten meat? I've got meat for you. Ah, very good. Okay, I had ten meat already. That doesn't look too bad. I'll start preparing everything. Those dig pigs are hideous as hell. But you can make something so delicious from them. Do you want to taste? Let's do it. Well, wait a minute. If they eat people, is it like eating a person? Is it cannibalism if I eat something that ate a person? Hmm. Okay. Let's try it. Dips in the ladle and hands it to you. Here you go. You sip some of the soup out of the ladle. It tastes like cabbage, onions, and peas. Uh, in a viscous, tangy sauce and some meat in the finish. Yum, yum. Uh, return the ladle. You hand Shona the almost full ladle. So, do you like it? I didn't want to... I guess I could have tasted more, but... I didn't want to have all of it. Uh, it was delicious. Her eyes light up. It just makes me so happy when people enjoy my food. Hewers and warriors alike, they simply cannot get enough of my food. And when even Merciless cutting in line, that really speaks volumes. Even the grumpy Murtaugh likes coming here. His eyes would light up if he knew that there was meat in today's meal. Oh, he gave me ten ore. Here, it's not much, but you should have a token of my gratitude. And here's another meal. You earned it. Cave stew. And experience? Please come again. You know where to find me if you get hungry. All right. All right. Um, was there anything else? Uh, I came from there. Anything down here? I wish I had a map for these mines. Hi there. Huh? Emco. Good fortunes in the mines. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, face paint. That looks like dirt and soot all over your face. Uh, anything up there? No. Here we go. Four ore, very nice. Blocked. Very dark back here. I'm expecting something nasty to pop out at me. Spiders, dig pigs. Oh, I wasn't ready to jump down. That's okay. What do we got here? Rust moss. Relaxes you and helps you forget the daily grind. Nice.
But how, though? Is that something... Hang on a minute. Crafting material, crafting material. So... Where's that rust moss? It doesn't say it's a consumable item. Wine. Yeah, okay. So some items here, it doesn't say what they are. They're just... Can I use it? I used it. Okay, that worked. Okay, here's the rust moss. Uh, let's go ahead and use it. If I can. Just curious what kind of effect that gives me. Um, yeah, I thought maybe... Yeah, it looks like it's a consumable item. I'm going to load my game. I was thinking maybe... Since it doesn't say it's a consumable item. Like, explicitly. Same with the wine. I reloaded my game, so now I have the wine back too. Um, that maybe these are items I put on those pedestals and those shrines. But... Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they are. I'll save them, though. I'm not going to use them. Hey, buddy. Oh, you got another dirty face. Huh? What do you want? Uh, Roizen? Uh, I want a piece of you. <laughs> uh, quit the yelling, will ya? I don't understand a word. Scram and let old Ro Roz in here. Who in peace? You don't understand a word I'm saying? What? You need to speak louder. I can't hear anything with this ear protection. It's probably best you just scram. Oh yeah, she's got something in her ears. Uh, why are you wearing ear protection? Don't flap your gums around me. You're getting on my nerves, all of you. I want to relax. Give me your ear protection. Huh? What was that? Uh, put some silver in your hand and show it to her? Are we gonna trade? She removes, removes the ear protection from one ear. Oh, silver. You want to give this to me? You look like you do. Uh, buy your ear protection for five silver? Why? Okay. Hmm, that much? Well, I can hardly say no to that, can I? Here, take this. Uh, thanks? What do I do with this? I got ear protection. Why? I don't know. Here it is. Some noise just hurts. Is this a consumable? Um, okay. Yeah, it does kind of muffle out the sound a little bit. I'll try it. Hi there, Oaf. Mm -hmm. Hey there. Oh, you got a huge chin. Hey there, stranger with the friendly face smiles. Perhaps we can become friends. Uh, I'd like that, I guess, maybe. That was too easy. So we're friends now for life. Smiles even more broadly. Oh no, what have I done? What are you doing here? Hewing, as they all do. It's a bit like chopping wood. That was my old line of work. But over at the woodcutter camp, it got a bit too dangerous for my taste. Did you ever work for Sangiz? Yeah, I cooked there. Oh, this is the cook that um, that they wanted me to look for. Make sure they were okay, but nobody there called me Oaf. They addressed me by my real name, Garrow. Yeah. How do you know I'm from there? I was there. Agillo asked after you. Agillo? Oh, I really miss the woodcutters. They should come here too. At least... Here, you can sock something away. At the end of the day, I have a dream. So you don't want to go back? Nope, no chance. If my dream ever comes true, I can't ever go back to them. No matter how much I like them. A uh, dream? No way, my calling is to be a chef. 
I want to open up a tavern that all Drova will rave about. Say hi to Agila for me. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. All right, well, we found uh, Jero. Said hi. Damn it. I messed that one up. Okay, I'm going to take out the earplugs for now. Put them back in if I ever think I need them. If I ever come across a noisy situation. This place is huge. Who are you? Mm -hmm. I'm Kara, and I make sure no hewers wander in here just like that, or people like you. Scram. What's in there, then? The deep mine. Anyone who goes in there by themselves isn't going to come out. That's why Gendra doesn't let anyone in alone. I want to go in. I don't care what you want. How do I get in? With Gendra. Trusty is responsible for the hewers. If you want to know anything else... Go ask him. Instead of getting on my nerves, he's usually at the entrance. Okay, we found the deep mines. Can I have this? I want a rock. Give me a rock. Wait, did I go around in circles? Oh, that's silver ore. Trust these here. Murta. Hey, I'm Murta. I saw you arrive earlier. You're probably... You've probably earned yourself some silver already, haven't you? Pretty dangerous around here, isn't it? You better stick with people who can protect you. And that'd be me. This'll cost you only ten silver. I've got your back. So you can work in peace. It's worth it. I thought the guards are here to protect us anyway. Because we love you hewers so much. Pretty brazen of you. Maybe I'll just take your silver. Shona's cooked something again. Do you really want to miss out on that? Hmm? Cooked what? Even has some meat in it. With meat? For weeks. I haven't eaten anything but bread and vegetables. Damn, if Mercil gets wind of this... He's going to eat it all by himself. Go, run. No, that's the wrong way, but that's okay. Okay, hold on. I got to get my bearings. I came up from here. We went left. What's up here? Huh. You. Andrick. The man looks exhausted. Huge circles under his eyes, which gaze ahead in a thousand yard stare. He notices me. Whoa. Where the hell did you come from? Sizes you up. New around here, huh? Who are you? Andrick, and I'm beat. As long as Oaf is in the mines, that's not going to get any better. Oh, you don't like Oaf? Having trouble sleeping? Apparently someone else is sleeping all the better. That damn Oaf is back in the mine. When he snores, it sounds like a cross between a storm and an earthquake. I was totally thrash, and I just dozed off, dozed off when he had left briefly, but now he's back. Uh, why don't you just have a serious word or two with Oaf? But I've done that already. He's actually a nice guy. He doesn't do that on purpose. But he can't help it. I'm at my wit's end. If you can somehow see to it that something changes, it'll be worth a fair amount of silver to me. Um, why would I need silver? You're new around here, huh? Silver's all that matters down here. No one cares about coin. All right, I'll talk with him. You'll find Oath somewhere in the pit. All right, maybe we got to make his dream come true. And he can get out of here. Hey, Jero. Uh, do you really snore that badly? Flinches. Wait, did Andrik send you over to rough me up? Where are you going? No, I'm not going to rough you up. I 
promise. Mm -hmm. Oaf trembles, looks down, and tries to make himself inconspicuous. I've got you. I I'm sorry, I was scared. But it's not my fault I snore like a ripper. Please don't hit me. Ducks under his arms. Um, huh. Calm down, I've got no beef with you. But, but, why did you chase me all the way here? Because I want to talk to you, dumbass. Well, you bailed before I could explain. So, you don't actually want to beat me up? You know, when I was a kid, I once tripped and banged my head on something hard. Then I slept for a really long time. Mm. Well, that's what people said. It didn't seem that long to me, but they were glad when I finally woke up. Yeah, he does seem a little bit on the slow side. Uh, solving your snoring issues is more important. The only one who's bugged by that is Andrick. He should just block it out. Wait a minute. Earplugs. You mean like this? Show ear protection. Exactly. Give it to Andrick. Then he won't be able to hear me anymore. Uh, I could suggest. I could probably suggest that he sleep um, in that guy's cave, but I don't want to rat him out. All right, I'll find a solution for both of you. Really? Oh, that would be great. Maybe Merrick has something. All right, let's go talk to him. I knew they would come in handy. Mm -hmm. Um, about the thing with Oaf. I've got some ear protection for you. You could use it to block out Oaf's snoring. Examines the ear protection and smacks his forehead. Should have thought of that myself. Puts on ear protection. Say something. Hello? What are you saying? Should I just give you some silver? Hello, can you hear me? What? Say again? I believe it works. Takes off ear protection. I heard nothing. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear anything you said. Not even oaf snoring will get through this. Thank you so much. I promise you silver and I keep my word. Fifteen silver, heck yeah. Here, take this. Thanks to you, I might finally get some sleep. Maybe I'll even dream. Yawns and smirks. Heck yeah. Okay, now I want to make sure, but I think I've... I've been up here. Emco... Yeah. Okay, that she had the ear protection. Alright, let's go this way. And make some new friends. Yeah. What's up? I'm new around here. Obviously. But here's a tip. Steer clear of the guards. Without someone like Larrick, you'd be easy prey. Mm-hmm. You don't look as if you could stand your ground should they decide to pounce on you. How come you need a guard? Because the guards here are ripping off the hewers. Always looking for an excuse to get their hands on the hewer. That's why I pay Lorik to protect me. Lorik. Isn't that right? Grump. He doesn't talk much. He doesn't have to. Why are you here in the pit? Actually, I'm from the remnant camp. My parents are highly regarded here. But I want to make something of myself with my own work. All I've got to do with the guards... All I've got to do is deal with the guards the same way the other hewers do. So far, I've managed to pull it off. Do you understand what Larrick is saying? All I hear is grumbling. <laughs> By now, I can distinguish the grunting sounds. Oh, he's like, uh, Chewbacca. I've got to go. Trusty and hewer. All right, Larrick, talk to me. Germal. All right. And who are you? Jendra, that goes for you too. You are not coming along into the deep mine. What's the deep mine? Everyone wants to go down there because that's where you can find most silver. 
but it's dangerous, which is why I don't take more than two hewers along with me. Levin has assigned me to go into the deep mine with a couple of hewers, so I'm the one who decides who's coming along. Remember my name, Jendra. Down in the ground, I'm the pit boss. Around here, whatever I say goes. Levin, trust me, thrusts out Chin. Uh, isn't it called down below? Face reddens. That's what I say. That's what I said. Get the wax out of your ears. I'm not the pit boss for nothing. Show me the respect I'm entitled to. Got that? I'm new around here. Obviously. Watch out that you don't do anything stupid. A lot of the guards in the pit don't have, have much of a sense of humor. I want to go into the deep mines. Believe me, you don't want that. Or are you keen on... Monsters, collapsing shafts, darkness. That's just for people who are born into mining. I can take care of myself. I've also made a deal with two hewers. They pay me good silver and then I take them along with me. Levin didn't mention anything about hewers having to pay to work. Well, now you know. Whoever's offer, whoever offers the most can come along. Simple as that. And Levin has no problem. As long as there's enough silver flowing into the remnants camp, he's satisfied. And there's plenty of it in the deep mine. Take me to the deep mine. Forget it. Almar and Ella pay me 60 pieces of silver each. Oh god. I can see that you don't carry that much. They're paying you 60? Of course, and they'll still leave the deep mine with a big fat profit. That's why everyone is so eager to do it, if you say so. You've still got to learn that things are done differently around here. What if I offered you a hundred pieces of silver? No, a billion pieces of silver. Actually, I have a deal with them. Ella is coming along in any case, otherwise she won't be able to pay a lark. Then he'll come running to me. Hmm, do you really want to miss out on that much silver? Hmm, that's a lot. Could be worth Almer's spot. Well, if you can scrape up enough silver, that'll be a, uh, you'll be on your way into the deep. Or rather, into the depth. That's what we miners call it. I've gotta go. How am I gonna get that much silver? Uh, might have to steal some. But not now. Not while I'm being watched. Aha. Uh -huh. That's four. Hey, Hewer. Um, do you have anything to say? I'm busy. Hey, buddy. I heard you talk to the pit boss. Want a lot of silver? I've heard something. But there must be a catch. No catch. I just need someone else for it. Uh, okay. Out with it. Come on, I'll show you. Oh boy. Let's uh, get ready for a fight. A lot of blood here. Okay, I've been here. Yeah, we've been here. What's up? Ah, you're finally here. So now there's... Yes? Silver smirks. Oh... Seriously? You want to rip me off? It wasn't personal, buddy. Mercil takes silver from us every night, too. That's just how it works around here. And you just put up with Mercil exploiting you? We haven't got any choice. Well, we do. Mercil will get either our silver or our heads on a platter. If we team up, we stand a chance against him. We're just meek hewers. Fight them or go after Mercil? I don't like Mercil. I'll try to fight them. You're not getting squat from me. And I guess there's no other way. Uh, uh. Nah, what are you doing? Oh, 
You are doing a lot of damage. doing garbage for damage. Ah! Press the wrong button. Damn it. I could do this. It's going to take a lot of... Uh... Oh yeah, this is going to be a long fight. I should just give up on this. out of stamina too quickly. Don't have enough to get away. They're not doing a whole lot of damage, which is great, but... I gotta wait for my, um... I'm out of the recharge. So I can dodge. Ah. Uh. I gotta get those better, better daggers. Ow. How dare you. Maybe they'll give up after a while. Oh boy. Nah. Hey, they're over half, halfway there. Ah, no stamina. The thing is, they're using their pickaxes. And that's, ah, uh, damn it. Oh God, messed up. Oh God. I can do this. The amount of da uh, ah, the amount of damage they're doing is so minuscule that I'm able to keep up. Ah, keep up with them. They have some sick range, though. Take that.
That's one. Ow, ow. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, boy. Well, I'm sorry I had to come to this. I'll take that silver, sure. And beer? Help out. Wait. Huh? No, I didn't get a chance to loot him. Oh, he wasn't dead. Oh, man. You've won. We'll leave you alone. I've got to go. Oh, I didn't get a chance to loot him. I thought I killed him. He wasn't dead. Okay, well, I got lost out on a little bit of silver there. Um, but we won the battle. I feel good about that. How much silver do I actually have? 63. Okay. I'm not sure there's a way I can accumulate a hundred silver. I might have to like leave the mines and then come back. And maybe the silver will respawn. Otherwise, I don't know. It's going to be tricky. If I sleep, I can't remember. If I sleep, do I uh, regain health? Let's see. I'll sleep till nighttime. I can go around and rob people. That'll be fun. Sleep until midnight. Okay, heal up. That's good. Well rested. Alright, let's see. Let's go back to the center of camp here. Everyone's sleeping. Can I just attack him? Oh, I can. I do have that option. I don't want to do that, though. What do we got here? Oh, uh... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me reload. I forgot... I forgot how to do that lockpick minigame. Don't want to waste a lockpick. Alright, uh, I'm far enough away. I don't think Murdoch can see me. Let's try this. There we go. Silver ring. Silver ore. I'll take it. More lockpicks. Letter to Merrick. Prepare the new delivery for you. Meet me at my... My place at the usual time. Everything's been stowed away safely in the boxes. That's from K. I think there's a few people with a K name here. Okay, and I got a ring. Dexterity plus one. Increases critical hit chance. All right. <laughs> Gives you a dirty look, beat it. He doesn't like me here. So what does Shona's new dish taste like? Hmm, that really agrees with, uh, agrees with me nicely. Shona outdid herself again. I got her the meat. I've got to admit, with all the meat you've gotten for her, this is really delicious, licks his lips. I guess as a thank you, I can forego your payment this time. I scratch your butt, you'll scratch mine. Ha ha ha. Why are you taking money anyway? So we can get out of uh, out of Drova faster. 
The guards benefit and the hewers are better motivated and everything moves along faster. Why do you want to bust out of Drova so badly? I can't stand the sight of anything anymore. I mean, I've seen everything and there's danger around every corner. That's what I like about it. Danger is my middle name. Um, you've got your hands on more of that, more than a bit of silver. So what? Jealous? I'll spend it after all. But it's kind of fun to take something off these hewer wimps. But maybe if more of it reached Levin, it might help, right? Absolutely. Every bit helps. Or certainly, but Katza especially is making things worse. Katza... Okay, so Katza, yeah, Katza's the one who sent the note. They've got a bunch of um, silver stashed away. She's working with him to stash away this silver. Um, Alright, I'll say Katza's making things worse. Mm, yeah, Katza... Half really is a pretty big chunk one of these days. I should talk with her. Hey, Murta. Omar seems really out of it. Says you're cleaning him out every day, although he works so hard. Is that true? Cleaning out might be a bit... Uh, might be exaggerating somewhat. Exaggerating? You took him for every last bit of silver. Well, so, I guess... You want me to leave him alone? Exactly. Nice of you to realize that. We've got to stick together down here, after all. Mm. Stick together, right. You might have a point. A uh, good meal will change his mind. <laughs> so, can I have some more of your fabulous food? Yep. There's not much left, but it's nice that you enjoy it, smiles. Next time, I'll wait for you so you can have my way... I'll wait for you so I can have my way with you right away. Blushes, uh, with the food, that is. Uh, careful there, Murta. I better leave you alone. What? No, no, it's all right. You better get back to work. Oh, and tell Omar he doesn't have to pay me up and pay up anymore. Oh, Murta. You pervert. Where was Omar again? I don't know, actually. Somewhere around here. I'll find him. Anyway, we're making good progress through the lines here. Um, I'm still... Yeah, I've still got only 71 ore, so... What if I rob this? Are you going to get mad at me? Eh, stole it. What is it? Did nobody see that? Okay, nobody saw that. Good. Whew. All right, so I've got to collect some more ore, 100 ore or so, and then we can go down into the deep mines and uh, see what's down there. And I think we have some more quests to do up here. Uh, weird demeanor. Yeah, I think that's outside of here. The pit. Here we go. Yeah, Levin's vote. Injured hewer. Agnesa's the injured hewer. She wants help, but she doesn't want help from me. Yeah, maybe I can talk to someone else about her. Uh, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Does she have anything else to say? Healing ointment. Oh, she took it. Narrows her eyes. You're not doing that out of the goodness of your heart. Let's hear it. What do you want in, in return? Nothing. We hewers have to stick together. I, I thank you. The divinities must have inspired you. Oh, that feels good. It's already getting back together. It's already getting better. I can tell. My bone is fusing again. I'll be able to work again soon. Thank you. I can't give you much, but 
I got five ore. I know something about mining, so I could show you a few tricks of the trade. Oh, prospecting three. You won't get anywhere if you just keep hitting it like that. Always keep a steady rhythm. Then the stone will break. You'll burn up less energy that way too. Well, I could have used that before I mined out all the ore in this place, but that's all right. All right, we still got to find around 25 ore or so. Uh, 21 ore. I need 100 ore and then uh, we're good to go. Oh boy, a lot of characters down here. A lot of stuff to do. All right, we'll uh, finish this up next time. See if we can get out of here. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.